New findings concerning an old drug, a demonstration for the Equal Rights Amendment and self-help for prostitutes. Here with the woman's side is Daryl Pollack. The synthetic estrogen, DES, has been definitely linked to cancer in women. Scientists have also uncovered new evidence that the drug may create long-term problems for men. DES was given to pregnant women in the 50s to prevent miscarriages. Recent studies show that it causes cancer in the daughters of those women who took the drug. And a study just released this week has found reproductive abnormalities in some of their sons. Since DES was widely used in the 50s, up to one million people may eventually be affected. The Equal Rights Amendment still needs to be ratified by four more states before it can become law. ERA backers hope to add Illinois to their list, and today they marched on the state capitol in Springfield to demonstrate their support. Illinois would be the 35th state to ratify the measure, and supporters have until 1979 to get the ERA passed. Local members of the world's oldest profession are getting some help from a former colleague who's now a Miami College student. Evelyn Young has organized a group called Health and Happiness of Women. Composed of working prostitutes, the group's goal is to find alternative lifestyles and work for the legalization of prostitution. Ms. Young explained why she began HHOW. I feel that all women were oppressed in the past. It's, uh, we don't have the ERA, and uh, I feel that we were bartered for and that some people exchanged whining and dying and dating other people exchange diamonds or security of a housewife. But I feel now there's a lot of doors open. Prostitution's a short-lived career, 10 years at the most. They're old at 30. They debilitate themselves, their health, uh, the hours, the anxieties. The jails are full, full of uh, women, and they need help. They're deprived. So far, she's signed up about 35 members and is seeking community support for her program. A married couple, both serving in the Navy, recently got involved in a military dispute. Terry Blaine said she and her husband had an agreement with the Navy that they wouldn't be assigned to separate stations. But the Navy apparently changed its mind and assigned Mrs. Blaine to Guam. She fought the order in court but lost. However, the dispute finally had a happy ending outside the courtroom. Mrs. Blaine got pregnant, so according to Navy rules, she ends up with her husband, an honorable discharge, and soon a new baby. That seems fair. It sure does. Thank you. All that rain we've been having lately may not be pleasing.